guys and girls, how's everyone doing today, or tonight, hopefully well. Well, I have some information. Um, it's sad. Many of you will disagree with me on these issues. It's sad, but the uh, hydrocodone has become now a Schedule II substance. Same schedule as morphine. People will no longer be able to get refills, and you'll probably have to end up going to a pain specialist, pain management doctor to get them, because they look at them the same way as they do Oxycontin, um, Morphine, Dilaudid, all that is Schedule 2. Well, now Hydrocodone is. Hydrocodone has been a Schedule 3 for a long time, years and years. Um, and the legislation, they just pushed it through. They actually did it in August. But they're waiting till after the elections to drop the bomb on everybody. Um, you know, so if you're taking oxycodone, I'm sorry, hydrocodone, if you're taking hydrocodone, um, you might want to start looking for pain management because your regular doc is probably going to soon tell you, I'm sorry, but we can't no longer prescribe that. It's Schedule 2. You have to be um, have specialties in pain management at that point. Um, the reason I think that they're doing this is for more control because people who take a Schedule 2 are uh, you, th that m could have firearms involvement issues there um, and other things as well because it's the stronger um, medication the only thing you're going to be left with is Tylenol 3 codeine is still a Schedule um, 3 also, FYI, um, tramadol and Ultraset or tramadol or something like that. Um, is being moved into the Schedule 4 um, substance. So that's no longer just a no big deal medication even though they gave it to my dog when he hurt his neck um, 50 milligram pills and you know <laughs> that's for my dog that didn't really seem to help him all that much either he still dug his way out from underneath the gate anyhow um, I mean, let's show you what we're dealing with here. New rules for hydrocodone. Wow, oh, this thing's going to mess with me like this. New rules for hydrocodone. Um, you know. What can I say? I think it's BS, personally, and they're not helping anything. The reasons that they give is because all these people killed themselves, supposedly, overdosed on um, painkillers. It was supposedly the worst number one cause of death in 2011. Um, here's the thing from the uh, CDC, I believe, or is it? Okay. Department of Justice, Department of Enforcement Administration, Drug Enforcement Administration. Mm. Can't talk. There's that. And it's already and it's it's already into effect. Um they just haven't really told them to push it yet. So, 
me. That's Forbes there. <laughs> I looked up leading causes of death. Let's see here. That's one we're going to go to. Leading causes of unintentional and intentional injury mortality. United States, 2000 through 209. Um, one thing that I'm going to bring to light, and it, uh, if you've ever listened to David Andrew Christensen, Christensen um, this is what he's talking about right here. Suicide is now a leading cause of injury related death in America. And the economy may be to blame. I'm sorry, it's not the economy. Um, I'm poor as dirt, and, <laughs> and it's not the economy. And I ain't gonna kill myself. It may be exactly the Katrina virus, like he talks about. Go check him out. It's very interesting. Um, here's another thing, opioid painkiller prescribing. Where you live makes a difference. And, um, these states right here that are gray are the worst states in the United States for um, prescribing painkillers, according to them. You know, they're, they're the most lenient for, for prescribing um, narcotics, opiates to people who suffer from pain. Leading cause of death, death or injuries formats. Okay, I want you to show you, to show you this. I went on this um, here. Okay, they claim 2011 was uh, biggest one was overdose, hydrocodone caused overdose, along with oxycodone and stuff like that. Let's let's look. Um, unintentional suffocation, unintentional drowning, unintentional MV traffic, motor vehicle traffic. Okay, now you get 10 to 14 year olds. Unintentional MTV traffic. I'm sorry, MV traffic. I said MTV. <laughs> but 15 to 24 motor vehicle traffic. Unintentional. Okay, now unintentional poisoning, is that all? painkillers? I doubt it. Because people unintentionally food poison themselves all the time. Unintentional fall. It's about the age of falls. Let's see number two. Let's see if it's on number two even. Homicide firearm is um, on number two for 15 to 24 year olds. Suicide suffocation is number three. Unintentional drowning. Younger unintentional motor vehicle homicide unspecified holy cow that's horrible became the leading second leading cause in 2011 for infants up to one years old that is horrible oh that's horrible that is sad but you know I don't see um, overdose here I will say they may be calling unintentional poison they may be putting that in the category with it let's see let's check these out unintentional suffocation drowning MVX and MV traffic unintentional poisoning intentional falls so Oh, and also back here, guys, they was claiming that um, firearms were the number one cause as well. Well, that ain't on, even on the list for the number one cause. It's all unintentional poisoning, unintentional fall, unintentional suffocation, and drowning, motor vehicle traffic, MV traffic, and... Uh, 
poisoning. But the poisoning, unintentional uh, poisoning, is the older people. So I don't see how they could, um, you know, maybe that should say um, suicide. Unintentional poisoning. How do they know they didn't commit suicide? And there wasn't listen on listing them so the uh, Katrina virus but there's the uh, CDC's you know personally my opinion is alcohol is by far the worst drug out there and you can buy it as soon as you're 21 I knew I know friends who have died from alcohol poisoning um, I had a fiance who was killed in a drinking and driving accident these drinking and driving and alcoholism has deeply affected my life and you can walk in a store and buy it all over the place and they're going to freak out over some pain medicine you know and how many of those episodes of unintentional poisoning were because of alcohol like that's alcohol related people were drinking too they ain't going to get you into deep that deep with it but yeah new rules coming guys so uh, like I say you might want to find a pain management doc God bless good luck to us all never give up your guns they always are more valuable in the future and they could save your life and those around you's life. This is Chatty Dead One over and out.